For the second straight week, the Brisbane Broncos have been dominated as the Parramatta Eels keep their top four hopes alive. But more importantly, the Brisbane Broncos could very well be outside of the top eight this time in 48 hours as the Canberra Raiders now have a superior for and against. Now, they are below them on the ladder because they are still a win behind, but the Canberra Raiders will take on a very, very ordinary Manly Seagulls outfit. And if they win, even if it's just by a field goal, the Canberra Raiders will find themselves in the top eight. And I was the guy who was sitting here a few weeks ago saying that I thought that all this talk around the top eight was overrated because the top eight was pretty much over. The Raiders for and against look shocking. And last Sunday, during that net game against the Newcastle Knights, I thought the top eight was going to be over. But now, thank you to the Broncos bottling it, we could very well have a very, very interesting last fortnight in Rugby League. The Roosters, they play the Storm. The Rabbitohs, they play the North Queensland Cowboys. If both those sides lose, then oh my god, we're going to have some sort of final week for the regular season. It feels like that if the Rabbitohs and Roosters can win this week, that locks them into the top eight spot. It is now a shootout. If the Raiders can put a score on Manly and then beat the Tigers, then they will find themselves playing finals football. However, the Raiders have proven at points this season that they can blow a team a game against an easier opponent. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. Sean Lane was phenomenal. The first half belonged to him and the second half, it belonged to Mitchell Moses. As well for the Broncos, if it doesn't get worse, Adam Reynolds had to leave the field early with a HIA. So... Will he play next week? They'll obviously get Cobo back. I didn't think Pereira was too bad. I thought Payne Haas was pretty good, but unfortunately, it was proven once again why a front rower is not worth a million dollars. But another huge result, Brisbane. It felt like their season was on the line tonight in the sense that they just had to sit sit in there. And it was a pretty 50-50 game before kickoff. A lot of people thought the bounce back factor would get the Broncos the win. But it's worst case scenario. They've gone from having one of the best resurgent seasons of the of their club history. I mean, that might be hyperbolic, but I can't think of one certainly in recent history. But their 2020 and 2021 form has come back. They need Paddy Carrigan back pronto. That game against the Dragons. Will Ben Hunt finally get revenge on the Broncos and rule their chances of playing finals football god i thought it was over what a crazy fortnight we have left for the season guys smash that like button if you do enjoy the video subscribe if you have not already it is completely free and you can always change your mind later drop a comment down below about your thoughts on tonight's game and who do you think ends up in the top eight